Now, Mr. Masalone, we have uh, 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 Apostle Hooper. Man of God, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you doing? Hey, man, well, I'm very well. I'm pleasant to see you. Oh, it's so great to be here in, in downtown Durban mm. with all the bustle and the hustle going on and be on the radio with you spreading the gospel for the kingdom of God. Wow. So, how is South Africa treating you? Oh, South Africa is wonderful. Mm. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm loving being around the beach and being. Uh, around all the mountains and mm. all the lovely people, it's yeah. just uh, I'm just enjoying enjoying my whole trip. Wow! Hi, everyone. One point five FM. I'm with uh, Apostle James Hooper from uh, USA, Texas. Uh, okay, please tell us the, the relationship between you and uh, John Maxwell um, uh, 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 relationship. Well, back in March, I was uh, actually February. I'm sorry. February, I went to Orlando, Florida, and uh, John Maxwell has a, a program to where you can become a certified coach and speaker and teacher for him mm -hmm. and represent his material and present his material to people. And so I was went to Orlando for three intensive days of study and, and learning. And uh, I say it's like drinking from a fire hose. They mm -hmm. just, I mean, it's just so much information. But then you leave there and you're uh, actually certified to, to represent John Maxwell. Mm -hmm. and present his material. So that's the relationship. I've become uh, one of his certified coaches and teachers. And so uh, I'm just excited about it. I think it's something that is prevalent because I have a, I'm have from the corporate world and the ministry. I mm -hmm. was successful in the corporate world as well as mm -hmm. the ministry. And I feel like there's a, there's a need in the ministry for some of this uh, corporate uh, leadership training. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I've been pursuing this. Wow, that's great. I heard that you are a volunteer doing some uh, big things to help other people. Oh, I do. Hmm. Um, I, my, f my father, in about six years ago, passed away with Alzheimer's Association. Hmm. And so, um, of the, with Alzheimer's. And so, uh, I just recently, in the last year, began to volunteer with the Alzheimer's Association as hmm. a community educator. And so, I'll go to community groups and do presentations, teaching them about the disease, teaching them about... Uh, talking to caretakers and helping them because I was actually a caretaker for my father along with my siblings and my mother. And so I just feel like this is a way to give uh, to people my the, the experience that I have and they just needed someone that wasn't afraid to talk in public and I've mm. pretty much been in public all my life growing up in a pastor's home. Mm. So I just felt like this was something strategic for me to do and sewing into this business that I wanted to do, the public speaking business, not just in the church but in the corporate world. Mm. So I'm just sewing into it and uh, so I, I get to do quite a few things. I, I, the first I was able to do our first uh, satellite training, uh, mm. te teaching or whatever, where I was in the corporate office and we were satellite to five different locations mm. and there were there were people everywhere, mm. uh, you know, online watching and so that was exciting. Wow, what is uh, your vision for South Africa? Well, my vision for South Africa, the one of the main purposes I came this trip. Mm. Uh, I haven't been in, uh, this is my third trip. Okay. And uh, I came in 2005 was the first time mm. I came and I met Bishop Medlosa on that trip. And we instantly became uh, connected. We're mm. just like brothers. In mm. fact, my mother has adopted him as a brother. Oh, wow. And uh, so then I came back in 2009 by myself and it just didn't seem to be a productive trip. But this mm. time I really felt I needed to come because I believe I had a prophetic word that I needed to speak mm. over this country. Mm. Mm. And so I uh, I actually mixed that in with my Sunday sermon for resurrection service. Yes. And uh, I believe that the, the Lord is wanting to tell South Africa that they need to follow. We talk about how God loves us, and, mm. and, and but to for it to be valid love, it has to be returned. And the mm. way we return God's love, He says, if you'll obey my commands, if mm. you love me, you'll keep my commands. Mm. Mm. And so His commands... Um, which the scripture says are not burdensome, but this is his commands. He said, everyone that believes in Jesus Christ is born mm. of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves this child as well. Mm. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. In fact, his love for God, keep his commands, and commands are not burdensome. Mm. The command is, you have heard it said that you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but I mm. say to you, listen to this, love your enemies, oh. bless those who curse you, mm. do good to those that hate you, mm. and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you, that you you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? What he's saying to us is we have to 
think differently than what the world thinks. The mm. world thinks that we have to get retribution. The world thinks that we have to, to um, you know, get get back at people. You know, they they the injustice that's been done. It's it's you know it's horrendous what has been done in this country in the past, in the distant past. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus, God's answer is to love those that persecute you, love those mm. that hate you, love mm. those that use you wrongly. Mm. In doing so, what you're doing is you're actually per spreading the love of God yeah. and showing them what mm. the love of God is. Mm. And so the Lord, God has the ability then to spread throughout this country and, and bring peace and bring reconciliation and bring justice. Mm. See, God says, I am, I, vengeance is mine and I will repay says mm. the Lord. Mm. And so he says he is a God of justice. He Hallelujah. will bring justice. But mm. justice in our minds is mm. going to be different than what God says is justice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I believe that God wants to bring, he wants to bring his justice to this nation. That's right. But his justice will bring healing. Mm. His justice will bring reconciliation. Mm. It will not create conflict. It mm. will not create death and not create battles and not create war. God's justice will bring to where everyone benefits because everyone is God's child. Hmm. Everyone is the child of God. It's no right. matter what color they are or what area of the country they come from, it doesn't matter. Hmm. Everyone is God's child and he wants to he wants to benefit everyone. Hmm. Not hmm. just us, not just hmm. one race, not just hmm. one section of the country. He wants to he wants to bless everyone. Mm. And so if we will remember that, if we will bless those that despitefully use us, if we will bless our enemies, pray for them, mm. uh, then I believe God will be released to do a work in this country that I believe the potential in this country for the kingdom of God. And I believe ec economically the potential for this country is significant. I believe God has a, a specific plan for this country and this nation and he wants it to be strategic. He wants to show the world what God can do in a country that is willing to follow his voice and follow his commands. So that's why I'm here. Wow. I, 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 I heard that there's a, a, a leadership event that is coming up and you'll be talking to us. I will. I will. I'm going to be presenting in, in Kwamashu uh, on Friday night and on uh, Saturday I'll be presenting some of John Maxwell's material and I'll be talking about the 15 laws of growth. 15 mm. laws of personal growth and a lot of people say well what does personal growth have to do with ministry well mm. there's a lot to do with it one of the laws is called the law of the mirror mm. and it's like if if you you must see value in yourself to add value to mm. yourself you must mm. see value in yourself to add value to others right. so um, I th the thing is the problem is is the kingdom of God the people of the of God have not seen value in themselves they have they have seen themselves as use worthless and that mm. sort of thing. And even in the past in the U.S., you know, religion would say, oh, I'm just a worm, I'm just nobody. But God says, I want you to see the value that I've placed in you so that you can actually can actually show that, show other people what their value is. And so this law of the mirror, um, it says, I believe all people have the seeds of success within them. All they need to do is cultivate those seeds, water them, feed them, and they will begin to grow, and so we must we must learn to to see the value in ourselves, so that we can plant seeds of value in others, and that we water that, and mm. God will bring the increase. And so, wow, um, well, we're looking forward to come at Manju tomorrow night. Uh, Apostle James Hooper from USA. Man of God, your last word to the all the leaders that are listening to you right now. What do you have in your hand? I believe if you invest in yourselves, that's the, the thing about it is if we invest in ourselves, mm. then we have more to give to those that we serve. As okay. ministers, we t are constantly pouring out and pouring out, but if we have not put uh, deposits inside of us, then we're going to be bankrupt uh, emotionally and leadership wise. We're going to be we're not going to have the wisdom to lead as we should. Yes, the, the scripture says that God will give us wisdom, but he also gives us wisdom by listening to other people and, and what he's taught other people. And so I believe if we will invest in ourselves as ministers of the gospel, then I believe we will have more to be able to give and grow the kingdom of God in a strategic way. Wow. Can you pray for, pray for us? Sure. Father, I thank you for this day and the opportunity that you've given us, God, to be able to spread your gospel through the airwaves across this metropolitan area. 
And Lord, right now I lift up the children of God, Lord, those that are struggling today, those that are having difficulties today, those that are dealing with issues, with family issues, with sickness and disease. Lord, I just thank you, God, because you are interceding on their behalf. Lord, you are coming to their aid and their rescue. I thank you, God, because you have men of God and women of God that are in this place to serve you. And Lord, that you would give them strength. You would give them wisdom. You would give them understanding. And Lord, I come against a sickness and disease. I come against conflict. I come against strife. I come against the enemy attacking our peace in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I just speak peace and I speak a blessing over Durban, greater Durban and all of the surrounding areas. I just release a blessing from the kingdom of God. I just speak a blessing over them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.